Uh, hey everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back to more or less play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, <clears throat> welcome to Creepy Steeple here, which is kind of a unique place, I guess. Don't ask me how I know that there's a coin block here, because there is. This area kind of reminds me of Banjo Kazooie. There's the coin block that I was trying to find. I knew there was one somewhere around here. Anyways, believe it or not, really quickly, there is something important you want to do here. <clears throat> At the very beginning here, this is actually really helpful for a side quest that we're going to be doing uh, when we get back to Rogueport at the end of this chapter here. We can get a Shine Spread through here. In here, we get a cookbook, which we'll be using for uh, a side quest. And in here, we get an Ice Smash Badge, which is a Hammer Ice Badge and a Star Piece. So there's a lot of stuff in this room here, so it's definitely worth coming to, especially seeing as how some of the rewards in it are actually really, really good. Anyways, I believe there is something over here. Uh, maybe I have to push it this way. Yep, I have to push this here this way. And... Uh, well, take out boobs here for a second because I think we have a thing behind here. Another secret. I think this is another really good badge. Ooh, a flower saver badge! Um, how much BP do I have? Uh, I could upgrade that with uh, one more level up, which I'm nowhere close to, unfortunately. <clears throat> I definitely will be equipping that, though, because that will help a lot. Believe me, Flower Saver is really good in this game. Uh, I'm gonna be passing over that in a s well, that's locked there, so let's guess it. Let's play this here. That's a lot of booze. Okay, it's quiz time in loop just now in the box we open. How many of us booze came out in total? I believe if you guess 200, he gives you an Ultra Shroom, which is pretty nice, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm going to use another one of my Mushrooms, as much as I don't need to. Eh, I'll just use one of my Mushrooms, because I want the Ultra Mushroom for selling money. I will be able to sell this money for a lot of money, believe me. So, And I won't be upgrading my HP, so it's pretty much just a huge cash seller, if anything. Anyways, now if these booze available here in the open, and I believe that they do something in a moment. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I remember this part here. Uh, if you want to speak to this guy, um, say no to what he has to say. We're actually going to be fighting the optional boss here in a moment. Now, I kind of admittedly don't like doing this too much. It's kind of like, this kind of reminds me of a, a heart piece in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where you have to pretty much wreck the Lumpy Pumpkin. I don't know why, I never really liked getting that heart piece, just because I felt like the people at the Lumpy Pumpkin actually were, weren't half bad. Anyways, basically just use your uh, super hammer on half of these boosts here. And, heh <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys! Yeah! Meet Atomic Boo! <laughs> yep, Atomic Boo. Uh, Atomic Boo is pretty simple, to be perfectly honest. Um, 40 HP and... Oh, this is actually a great time... Okay, yeah, it does have boss music. I'm gonna be showing off Power Lift because... Uh... I haven't gotten a chance to show off this attack yet. Um, basically... If you can guess what we're doing, uh, we're boosting our attack and defense points. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, well, I kind of sucked at that one there. You can either get anywhere from plus one to plus four, which is pretty rare, but it can happen. Just trust me on that one that it can. <clears throat> and this will boost our attacks up by quite a lot, as you can see there. Mini Egg was doing that much damage, and we also have a defense boost as well, so, anyways, uh, power jump, I guess, 
Okay, that was a really nice power jump. And now I guess ground ground pound with Yoshi. <laughs> that did a pretty significant amount of damage to him there, and another spin jump should be enough to finish him. Or just another regular jump should be enough to finish him. And he gives off quite a lot of star points too, so he's worth fighting. He's really easy to believe as easy as I made him look. <clears throat> and he gives us the lucky start badge. Sometimes it makes good things happen whenever battle begins. Basically, it just d gives you a randomized effect. It's not that great of a badge, in my personal opinion. I There are much better badges, in my opinion. It's not nearly as good as the other lucky badges, like uh, Lucky Day and, luck and uh, Pretty Lucky. Speaking of which, Lucky Day, that's obtained in a real... Oh, uh, excuse me. A really, really annoying way in this game, believe me. I really wish I could get the Lucky Day badge in an easy way, but I can't in this game. Uh, you actually definitely don't want to go up that staircase yet. You want to hit this first, if I'm not mistaken. Now, if you head on through here... <clears throat> I'll show you the reason why, because if you kind of remember, there was no door in the other spots, so pretty much that other way you would pretty much it would lead to a demise. Basically, um, wait, wrong thing, huh? Coops. <clears throat> I actually looked at my level, and I'm pretty damn over leveled at this point, because when I, like, when I was halfway through the glitz pit, I was only on level 6, and now I'm at level 10, so... At least I think I was like halfway through the glitz pit when I last uh, saved my game, when I last copied my save data over. Either that or I was like level ten whenever uh, the other part of the chapter, like the, you know what I'm saying. I was either level ten whenever the whole <coughs> glitz, or I was like level six whenever I began the glitzville part. Anyways, we gotta hit this twice that we can move the staircase over again. That's pretty much the gimmick of this whole area. And we're pretty much, believe it or not, almost done with this chapter. Yeah. <clears throat> it's really not a terribly long chapter when you know what you're doing. And I just got hit by a freaking boo. I guess I'll fight this enemy here just because... Just because it's one freaking boo, he's not surviving this. Like I said, not surviving. And he gives us more unnecessary coins. Uh, join back next time for the rest of the chapter, basically. Or, right, no, 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 never mind, actually, I forgot we're still pretty good length, so why don't we go on and finish off this chapter? We could, if we wanted to. On this very long spiral staircase and bounce up. Hang on, that slick. What are you doing interrupting my me time? Well, come on, this guy, the monster the mayor was freaking out about. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way you need to go away quietly, am I right? Well, alright then, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turn the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal, you sick mister. Why do you want to turn them into pigs anyway? Well, you know, they're also depressing and boring and dim witted all the time. So instead of wallowing them in the gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud, huh? Now that the pigs get it, it isn't so perfect. It's like irony, so. So what, you got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Now, I don't care what you say, this music here reminds me of Mario Paint. I don't know why, but me the boss of the chapter. Or, ignore that I said that. <laughs> we don't know this guy's name yet. Um, unknown, I should have probably used uh, Power Lift there, believe it, but, eh. I'll prove that I can beat this guy without power lifting. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
<coughs> See, he's really not that hard. <coughs> Just do uh, power rounds and then and do some other techniques. Um, I'll just use gulp because this, or not, because my controller can glitch up like a total freaking piece of crap, like it is. I don't know why it does that. And now, how do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fun yourself, huh? I'm a damn genius. You know, what I say to you. I say A. And <clears throat> you know what I also say to you? A uh, mini egg. Thankfully, the timing for mini egg is a lot easier than some of the other attacks, and that did not kill him. Damn it. And of course, that didn't affect him. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on, what, what? Huh? You beat me. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we take some star points now. You got crystal star! And that was it for chapter 4, everyone. Next time we'll be doing some post-chapter stuff, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, already over. Murray defeated the scourge of creepy steeple and found the fourth star. People of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. That's right, Murray's quest to collect all the seven stars will be done in no time. It's back to creepy steeple, Murray's quest for a break future. <clears throat>